Let's look at what I think might be the three most important things you need to understand if you want to raise and train your puppy to be a perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. Probably the reason you got a dog in the first place. Do you want to be able to take your dog with you to coffee shops, with you to pubs, be able to take them on a holiday and just be able to have that dog be an absolute legend that is fun to take everywhere, enjoyable to take everywhere, safe to take everywhere and a well-behaved canine companion. So then let's look at the first of the three things that I want to talk about in today's video. And the first thing is starting as you mean to go on. Now, this is probably one of the most difficult parts of puppy training because let's face it, eight week old puppies are absolutely adorable. But when you bring your puppy into your home, I really want you to focus on this idea. I want you to picture your dog in 12 months time, 18 months time, two years time, and really think about what that dog is going to be at that point, and then what it is that you're gonna expect of your dog at that point. When the novelty of having a puppy has worn off, when the cuteness of having a puppy has worn off, and what all you want is for your dog just to be well behaved, start as you mean to go on treat your puppy like you'll treat your dog in 18 months two years old will you let your 18 month old two year old dog jump all over you every time you walk into a room if the answer is no then don't let your puppy do it will you allow your 18 month old dog to chew all of your furniture to chew all of your clothes to chew all of your shoes then don't allow your puppy to do it now, I'm not saying that your puppy is going to be trained straight away, but you need to have those same expectations because it's unfair of you to let your puppy get away with things. And I'm talking about jumping up. They come running over to you. They're super cute. They jump up you and you go, oh, you're so adorable. And you pick them up and you cuddle them. But in a few months time, when they're older and they're more grown and it's annoying and starting to become dangerous and then you get frustrated, that's not the dog's fault. That's your fault. You're now adding confusion, which is going to jeopardize your relationship, which is going to make every other aspect of you and your dog's life more difficult. So set your expectations for your adult dog and start as you mean to go on from day one. Number two, and this is something that if you've done this before, you will be agreeing with me that yes, absolutely, this is mandatory and every puppy owner should do it. And if you've never done it before, you'll probably think I'm being a bit extreme with saying that absolutely everybody should do it, but that is crate training your puppy it is an absolute non-negotiable fundamental when it comes to me training puppies or if i'm helping clients to train their puppies when i bring a puppy into my home it is the number one priority that is all i care about on day one is toilet training and crate training and getting that dialed in as quickly as possible if you can get your crate training done which can be done in day one or have massive success with setting up crate training on day one night times will be easier which means you'll get more sleep which means you won't be angry about having puppy you'll avoid the puppy blues the regret won't kick in and you'll be able to handle all of the other responsibilities and things that you need to do with your puppy much better if you crate train your puppy from day one toilet training will be much easier because dogs are denning animals and when you do it properly when you do it in a positive fun way you're going to set your toilet training or potty training up for huge amounts of success do you want to avoid separation anxiety do you want to be the kind of neighbor who when you go out your dog's howling and crying and barking non-stop and everybody on your street absolutely hates you or do you want to be able to go out and your dog to understand how to settle down how to be alone how being alone can actually be a nice experience for them and to teach them some independence the single best way of doing that is crate training if god forbid your dog ever has an accident and needs to go into the vet for an extended period of time that will be easier for them if they are crate trained traveling will be a safer experience for everybody involved if they are crate trained crate training is one of the best things you can do for your puppy and for you and i highly highly recommend that you take that seriously and again be working on crate training from day one and last but not least i want to focus on this concept of basics over tricks a lot of people get a new puppy into their home and they want to do training and they're thinking about fun things that they can do with their dogs and they teach them loads of different things they teach them loads of different tricks but let me let you in to a secret let me let you into to the reality of what it's like to again own a dog once it's come out of that novelty period of having a puppy is that tricks mean absolutely nothing 
when you are out in public with your dog it does not matter if your dog can play dead roll over spin horn you name it if they are reactive to other dogs if they are constantly pulling you down the road if they jump up people when they meet them because they're overexcited that all those tricks you've taught will mean absolutely nothing if your dog is badly behaved all I care about with dogs is that they will walk nicely by my side, basics of heel training, that they have excellent manners so they will sit and wait patiently, and that they will come back to me when I ask them to. If I have just those fundamental basics in place, I have a dream canine companion that I can take with me safely anywhere, and they are a joy to take anywhere. I often get stopped in public with my dogs to say how amazingly behaved they are. The reality is, even as a dog trainer, even as a canine behaviorist, I don't teach my dogs any tricks. I have no interest in doing it for fun, and it's not what I look for from my dogs. What people are stopping me in public about to say how they wish their dogs were as well behaved as mine, or they wish their dogs were as well trained as mine, is because I can be in a coffee shop, and if I ask them to sit and stay, they sit and stay. Once I'm walking down the high street, doesn't matter how many dogs are walking past me, they don't have fancy formal heel, they don't have fancy obedience, but they just walk next to me calmly and quietly. If you focus on just the basic principles, you will have a happier life with your dog. You can make sure that your dog understands that to gain access to your attention, to gain access to your training treats, to gain access to all the positive things in life, it walks nicely next to you, it sits and waits with good manners, it looks up to you for guidance and direction, comes back to you when called. If that's all you're working on every single day, you are going to have a dream dog. If you're working on loads of different things and doing them not brilliantly and not getting the basics in place so that when you are in the real world, all of that stuff goes out the window, again, you'll just be in a situation where you just wished, all I want is my dog to walk nicely, to sit when I ask it to, to come back when I ask it to. So focus on the basics. Put all of the time and energy that you would spread across loads of other things, put all of that into the basics, and you can thank me later.